And there are many times within automations where you may have uh, features and their dependents that are suppressed by default and you need to resume them as part of the automation in some way. So I've got these basket openings here and I'm just going to suppress these and you'll notice that it has a couple of dependent features there, those rounds that are below it. So if we were to come into Creo and just uh, do a resume on this, uh, you could see that those other features did not come back. Now, if we were in um, like a pro program or something like that, it would make total sense to just put a parameter around this and then allow all that stuff to come back at once. But in this particular example, we're going to use NitroCell to resume these. So to do this, we're just going to come in and do a, uh, a feature resume. And we want the children version of this. So what this is going to do is it will work on the active model, or you can specify a model that's in session, or you can even wildcard any model that has um, this issue that you need to process it with. So if you have uh, an entire family of variable components that have the same feature name that needs to be resumed, you can do that quite easily with just one line of code here. And then the feature name. So um, we're going to type in basket openings. And we'll slide in a regeneration at the end of this process just because we're modifying uh, the geometry here, the state of geometry. And we'll go ahead and press do it. And you'll notice that that has, um, let me do a manual refresh here to get the tree update. You'll notice that that has resumed not just that feature, but also its children. So let's do that again, but we'll let's do it with a wild card. So um, instead of doing, giving a very specific name, I'm going to come in and just say uh, star. And so if there is a feature, any, any suppressed name feature that's in there, um, and we can actually extend this a little bit and go, and I'm looking for any PRT that's in session. So I'm going to quit window on this. Let's see what's in session currently. It's just our basket, which is fine. And I'm going to run this on any uh, model that's in session and resume anything that's there. And we're not going to need to regenerate in this case because it's, um, not, there's nothing active to do that with. And then if we open that model up that's in session, you'll notice that it brought back our features. So that's uh, basically how that function works. It's, it's really powerful. Uh, you do have to plan for it. And I, would, I need to really mention here that uh, there is a table, uh, a table ver version of this that you should definitely look at also. Um, this uses an Excel table to perform basically the same operations, which enables you to use Power Query to do some much more sophisticated things with NitroCell uh, and Excel and Creo.